very good morning to all the students. Uh, today we will be studying the practical number 2B of the salaries. The problem is attached uh, to this uh, in the link below the video. Uh, just take a look at the question and then we will start solving. Yeah, so let us open the tax base software first. Click on continue. Click on close button. On the main tax base home, click on the double click on the SSC which you have created and uh, click on the salary option. Now refer to the problem. Click on new and uh, refer to the problem. The employer's name is given as Infosys Limited Bangalore. We have to write down this name in the employer's name. Infosys Limited Bangalore. Let me write the Bangalore uh, in the town city name. You just write Infosys Limited. Address Bangalore. Now let us give the PAN details, write any random PAN number. Now let us uh, input the problem. See the salary has given us 75,000 per month. That takes the figure to 75,000 multiplied by 12. That is uh, rupees 9 lakh per annum. You have to write annual figures. For HRA refer to the sum. It is given that HRA received is uh, rupees 10,000 per month. So it will come to rupees 1,20,000. And expenses actually incurred on employment are 12,000. Uh, sorry, payment towards rents are 12,000. Hence it will come as 1,44,000. Close it and you'll get a taxable value of house rent allowance at rupees 66,000. Next item is conveyance allowance 1500 rupees per month. In conveyance allowance column, write 1500 multiplied by 12 that gives us a figure of 18,000 rupees. Next is Maruti Alto provided by employer along with the chauffeur. The expenses on running and maintenance are also paid by the employer. Now click on the value of Perkisite for use of motor car. Select the see the motor car is owned by the employer hence we will be selecting the car owned by the employer it is given in the sum that the car is owned by the employer then car is used for both official and personal purposes and the problem also states that the expenses on running the car are made by the employer see the maru it is a maruti 800 so the engine capacity will not be more than 16 hp if it is a big car, then you'll click on engine capacity above 16 HP. The chauffeur is also provided. Click on chauffeur and click on hide. The automatically will get a calculation of 32,400 there. Last item is uh, the TDS of 25,000 rupees. Put it up in TDS column. Write down 25,000 rupees. and click on the save option. See, uh, the bank interest of rupees 95,000 is uh, pending. Uh, the interest received by the bank or from the bank does not come under the head of salaries. We will close this salaries option. Save it and close it. And for interest purposes, you'll click on income from other sources. Here, refer to point number four, that is the bank interest. Again look at it in other sources point number four bank interest click on the details option see bank interest ninety five thousand. 
click on the details click on new in the details option put up the name of the bank any fictitious bank will do interest received from let us say jpc bank the earnings will be 95000 rupees see 95000 and uh, the value of investment that is how much we have invested is rupees 10 lakhs the value has been given in the problem save it and close it see that the income of 95000 appears in the head income from other sources close it come to the main menu deselect the interest payable under section 234a b and c it is an educational version we don't need interest now take a look at the total income the tax on total income the education says and the tds that has been deducted click on computation sheet and the computation sheet will show up here also the name of the sse the salary details details from income from other sources are displayed below the amount of tax calculated and the final amount of tax payables shown this concludes the practical number 2b of the salaries of tax based software for more videos stay tuned thank you